In this video, I want to do a little bit of exponent review. Hopefully you remember some basic exponent rules and how to apply them. Let's just make sure you know the basics first. Our first rule is x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. In other words, when we multiply like bases, we can add the exponents. Our next rule is that if we have left parentheses, x to the a, right parentheses, and then that is raised to the b power, we can multiply the exponents, giving us x to the a times b. We will often just say this as x to the a to the b is equal to x to the a times b. Next, we have left parentheses, x over y, right parentheses to the a, and when we simplify that, the a power applies to both x and y, giving us x to the a over y to the a. Finally, we have left parentheses, x plus y, right parentheses to the a. This is not a rule you normally see as part of exponent rules, but I think it's an important one to pay attention to because you cannot just distribute the a inside. You actually have to write it out a times as a factors. So x plus y times x plus y dot 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 to the last x plus y. In other words, if you had it to the third power, you would write it out three times and do the multiplication. So this one is very different than the other ones that you see in that there isn't actually a new exponent rule for this. It's just distribution. At this point, I'd like you to actually try applying these. These are rules you should know. And so go ahead and try to simplify or evaluate the expressions below. Pause the video and come back and see how you did. Okay, we're back. Let's see how you did on these little expressions that involve the exponent rules you should already know. We'll start with left parentheses 1.03 right parentheses to the second power times left parentheses 1.03 right parentheses to the fourth power. Now here we have like bases. And so with like bases, we're going to apply that first exponent rule x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. So the first thing we can do here is rewrite this as 1.03 inside parentheses, and then we'll do that to the 2 plus 4 power. So that's just 1.03 to the 6th power. If we evaluate that, we can just run over to Desmos and type in 1.03 and then use the a to the b key to make that to the sixth power, which gives us 1.19405229. It goes on for a while here. Let's just round to four decimal places, 1.1941. Okay, moving on. One plus a squared is this rule, left parentheses x plus y, right parentheses to the a, the one where we have to multiply them all out. So this would be one plus a, times 1 plus a, and if we were to multiply that out, we would have four terms. Adding them together, we'd have 1 plus 2a plus a squared. I've skipped a step there, but hopefully you can do the algebra in between. Next, we have left parentheses x squared, right parentheses, and then that's raised to the 3 halves power, which is 3 divided by 2. Here we want to use the rule that says x to the a to the b is equal to x to the a times b. So we'll rewrite this as x to the 2 times 3 halves power. And 2 times 3 halves is just going to be 3. So this simplifies to be x cubed. Next, we have left parentheses, 2x, right parentheses, to the fifth. 2x to the fifth essentially uses this rule that says x to the a to the b is x to the a times b but it's a little tricky because of the two there and because the x doesn't have an exponent on it. So let's just think about this as 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x. It's five factors of 2x, and that makes it a little easier to comprehend what comes next. We need to multiply out all those twos, so 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. And then we have to do x times x times x times x times x, and that's x to the fifth. And so you can see what happened here is essentially that we did 2 to the fifth and x to the fifth to get 32 x to the fifth. Next, we want to do left parentheses, x squared, right parentheses, raised to the 1 divided by 2 power. 
or the one half power. We're going to use that same rule we just used and multiply the exponents. So that's going to be x to the 2 times 1 half power. 2 times 1 half is just 1. So we have x to the first or just x when we simplify. Now 1 plus 0 0.05 to the sixth. Now that looks suspiciously like this last rule, which is the x plus y in parentheses to the a power. But in fact, we can actually do the mathematics inside the parentheses. And if we do that, if we do 1 plus 0 0.05, we're in fact doing the proper order of operations, which is to do the parentheses first. So let's go ahead and do that and rewrite. This would be the same thing as left parentheses 1.05, right parentheses, and then that one to the sixth power. And all we can do after that is go ahead and get an estimate for it. Let's jump over to Desmos and do that. So we'll do 1.05 to the sixth power. That gives us 1.34009596, etc. Let's round to 1.3401. Okay, last column. We first have left parentheses, 2 divided by 3, right parentheses, to the fourth power. Or another way to say that would be it's 2 thirds in parentheses raised to the fourth power. Now we want to go to this uh, rule we haven't quite used yet, the x over y raised to the a power. And it just tells us that we can take the a and apply it to both the numerator and denominator. So here we're going to take that 4 and apply it to both the numerator and denominator, giving us 2 to the fourth over 3 to the fourth. Now 2 to the fourth is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16. And 3 to the fourth is 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, which is 27, times 3, which is 81. So we can get a nice fraction out of that, 16 divided by 81. And we can work out a decimal for that if we want. Let's jump over to Desmos and just do 16 divided by 81. That gives us 0 0.1975 when we round. And I'm using little estimation symbols in front of that to show that it is a rounded answer. The next one we have is left parentheses 0 0.97 right parentheses to the third power times left parentheses 0 0.97 right parentheses. Or another way to say that would be 0.97 to the third power times 0.97. Now we don't have a power on the second 0.97, so the understood power on that is 1. And in fact, this is the first exponent rule. We have like bases, and we can add the exponents. So this would be the same thing as left parentheses 0 0.97, right parentheses, and then we'd have the 3 plus 1 power. That's left parentheses 0.97 to the fourth power, and we can get a decimal estimate for that which is 0 0.8853 when we round. Okay, final problem. We have left parentheses 1.2x, right parentheses to the third power. Now, one way we can think of this is 1.2x times itself, so that there are three factors there, right? Or we can think of it as 1.2 to the third power times x to the third power. We learned that from a previous problem. So 1.2 to the third power is 1.728. So this could be rewritten as 1.728x to the third power.